Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG Edgy. Yeah, praise God again, buddy. Back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. You know, we had a few days, a few days, a few games today, man. You know what I'm saying? On this Sunday, which just happens to be Father's Day. So I want to say, man, happy Father's Day to all the wonderful fathers out there. No, I'm not talking about the sperm donors. You dumbass. I'm talking about the, the men out there that are doing their thing to take care of the young ones and their family. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's biological or not. You know what I'm saying? Holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Being a good representation for all the males around the world, you know? So happy Father's Day to all the good fathers out there, man. And uh, yeah, so so on, on this day, we have seen quite a few WNBA games, you know what I'm saying? Give us some entertainment for the Father's Day, you know what I'm talking about? Even though I'm not a father, I'm a godfather, though. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to my godson, dude. You hear me? Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! All right, so we first off we had uh, we had we had the Phoenix uh, Mercury uh, going against Seattle Storm. The Phoenix Mercury beat the Seattle Storm by a score of eighty seven to seventy eight, uh, led led by a combined effort of um, Kalia Copper and Brittany Griner. Man, scoring thirty and twenty eight apiece respectively. Man, so they combined for a total of a whopping massive total of fifty eight points. Damn. I'm sorry. So it's hard for that hard, hard to overcome that even 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 with the even by the standards of Seattle Storm and Naka Gumake because she did Naka Naka Gumake she did drop a double double with 15 points and 11 rebounds. But like I said, it just wasn't enough to overcome uh, the efforts of, of DT Diana Taurasi. You know, what I'm saying one of the goats, Brittany Griner and Kalia Copper. Man, so they take the dub uh, over over Mercury takes the dub over Seattle Storm, 87 to 78. All right, next up we have the Atlanta Dream. You know, they beat the Los Angeles Sparks. Uh, behind Alicia Gray's 25 points and the altruistic philanthropic veteran Tina Charles, man. She she dropped another 20, you know. And in addition to that, the former 2022 Rookie of the Year, uh, Ryan Howard, she also contributed 16 points. You know, and on the LA Sport on the LA Spark side, um, they were led by a combined effort from the rookies, you know, Rakia Jackson and Cameron Brink, uh, combining for 32 scores, 16 points apiece. Uh, but it just wasn't enough. Um to overcome the the dream this time and and the sparks fall uh by a score of 87 to 74 to the Atlanta Dream. All right, next up, you know, we have the biggest matchup where everybody wants to see, right? The rivalry uh, uh comparable to the to that of Magic versus Bird. What did he say? You know, uh, uh if, if people didn't like Magic, you know, cuz people don't like Angel Reese, you know, but we have uh, uh Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese going at it again and uh we see Indiana Fever beating the Chicago Sky for the second time this season. Uh, you know, it was behind Kayla Clark, but she led the fever and she led the game with 23 points, you know, uh, with 63% shooting uh, for the field. And in fact, speaking of those good shooting numbers, field goal percentage wise, you know, um, six fever players shot over 50%, with four players shooting over 60%. <laughs> Including uh, the former over the former number one overall pick Aaliyah Boston and 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 uh, Nelissa Smith. Nelissa Smith. Ah. What you getting at with the book script? Spit that shit out, man! I can't speak right now. I'm sorry. Long day. Uh, Aaliyah Boston and uh, Nelissa Smith dropping 19 and 15 points respectively. Uh, CC also almost dropped a triple double, uh, adding eight boards and nine assists as well. You know, so she had a great game. On the other side for the Chicago Sky, uh, Angel Reese AR had had. A, had another double double this season. She'd be killing it with double doubles. Uh, coming in with 11 points and 13 boards, but nobody was efficient from the field for the sky uh, scoring the ball, uh, unfortunately, uh, besides Kennedy Carter. You know, Kennedy Carter was the only one on the sky that shot over 50% from the field. You know, I believe 57% specifically. Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! And uh, she contributed also. She contributed also the second highest point total on the sky with 18. Um, you know, and, and shooting like that, you know, it's very difficult to over overcome um, the very efficient Fever players. They played very efficiently. Uh, Marina Mabry also uh, contributed 22 points. She led the sky in scoring <laughs> um, as well. But overall, the game was close throughout. Uh, but once the fever took took the lead halfway through the through the third quarter, they never relinquished it. You know. Um, and they held on until the end. Uh, and uh, shoot, speaking of the third quarter, you know, there was a little incident in the third quarter involving AR and CC. You know, CC went up to uh, attempt a layup and AR went to attempt a block. Whoa, whoa. Go, 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 go. Clark, Hammer. Tom Murphy! <laughs> the foul, I believe, to Angel Reese. 
Yep, across the head, and they will go to the monitor. But it hit her in the head, con uh, consequently, you know. It was nothing um, malicious about the block attempt at all. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! It was a simple block attempt, but because she swiped at the ball and landed on Caitlin Clark's head, you know, it was called a flagrant foul, and rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? Because by definition, you hit somebody in the head, then it's, it's a flagrant one call. So I thought that was a good call, nothing unfair about it, you know, and um, so by definition, flagrant, and the fever win by a score of 91 to 83. Uh, and also, CC she reached another milestone, you know, recording five games with at least 15 points, five rebounds, and five assists. And, um, you know, she isn't the first, sorry, she is the first rookie to do so since uh, old Stewie, you know, Brianna Stewart did it in 2016 as a rookie so she's the first player to do so as a rookie since Brianna Stewart the former MVP in 2016 you know and um head to head CC leads the leads the battle with AR as 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 professionals you know in the WNBA uh two to zero so you know CC's up on AR in the pro so far but overall it's been it's been a great great WNBA season so far I look forward to it and today was a great game so I'm not mad at all man hopefully y'all enjoyed the games I did and uh yeah man hopefully continues to uh look up man so y'all be easy take care of yourselves enjoy your father's day enjoy your family and remember with god we can do anything without god we're in nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets